Sunday morning, are you up and moving? September the 17th, 2017. Wow, somebody asked me why I repeat the date. Hey, you know, you never know. Somebody in a hundred years may dig this up and go, Hmm, who's this wacky guy in glasses and hats at match shirts and, you know. Hey, you never know. Two hundred years from now, I might be the occult figure. Ha, ha, ha. The Orange Hat Brigade has shown up. Uh, the orange hat man has left the room. Plus, then, if you want, you can take these, turn them into holograms, and let me haunt you. <laughs> anyway, let's get started today here. National Apple Dumpling Day. Hmm. National Monte Cristo Day. If you don't know what the Monte Cristo sandwich is, look it up. It's awesomeness. National Constitution and Citizenship Day. And I don't need a national day for this because this is every day of my life. National Wife Appreciation Day. If you're not appreciating them guys, you're wrong. No lecture. Just the facts. John Paul Getty. Formula for success. Rise early, work hard, strike oil. <laughs> well, I look at it this way. Not everybody can strike early and strike oil, but everybody can rise early and work hard. Oil may not be the thing. But I still can't figure out how you can lay in bed or, or, or sleep till noon, 1 o'clock, get up and try to get anything useful done. You know, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. All right, two out of three is all right. <sighs> you figure out which ones. The thing is, you waste a day. You waste part of the day. Now, I can understand if you're working midnight to 6 or you're working 11 to 7 or something like that, sleeping in during the day. I understand that. Even though we weren't made for that, you adjust your time and everything. But to just run normal hours and then sleep till noon, you know, like Yogi Bear. Sleep to noon and get everything done before the close of Jellystone Park. I'm smarter than the average bear. Gay? Guess what? You ain't. You ain't. First of all, you waste time that you can never get back. You miss things you'll never be able to get back. And above all, you cheat people out of the time to be around you. It makes you a thief. Can't give it back to them. You can't show them what's, what's what, oh, I got to give you this block of, of five hours that I cheated from you because I was sleeping in, and it was noon, one o'clock when I was sleeping. Doesn't work that way doesn't work that way now some of you think I'm crazy for being up between 3 and 4 in the morning and starting my day but by the time I usually do these even on the weekends I got more done than most of you even know which way is up each their own but I'm telling you all these philosophers everybody out there everybody you can find it in the Bible. You can find it in the Torah. You know, a wise man uses the time. Then they wonder why things get rushed, hustled. 
You don't have to be rushed if you, you know, get up, put some time into it, put some time around it. Well, anyway, today is a cigar that I got from my one cigar club. Yeah. It's also, when I get them, they come in a pack in the mail like this for my monthly cigars uh huh and then they send me a sheet like this which I have to scan in to read and put in here and everything but you know it, it's not it gives you the featured cigars that they talk about and I know y'all want to see you know ratings chart cost chart where to get them, what to do. Then it talks about other monthly clubs, including beer and wine clubs as part of this. You know, they do it every month. But it, it's... If you're not trying other cigars, you might as well get out of the cigar industry, get out of smoking cigars, because there's some real unique cigars. This is one of them. This one took me by surprise. I'm not a big Henry Clay fan, but I just became one. This is a Henry Clay Stalk Cut Toro. On the strength chart, 0 to 100, I would put this at about an 80. It has a very crisp flavor to it. It's a lingering, earthy, coffee, nutty. Yeah, a, this one actually has a, a nutty flavor to me. And uh, in my opinion, because I guarantee you, you may not have it that way. But it's something that I keep telling everybody. Get in a cigar club. Get a few cigars a month different. Try them all. All the way down. If you have to, go find a second or third one. That's why all my clubs, I get a double membership so I can get two of everything to try. But like I said, smoke what you like. Like what you smoke. Try something new every day. And above all, keep kicking ass!